So we're going to look at bringing in a SolidWorks assembly. So if we go File Open and change our file type to SolidWorks assembly and find the file that we're looking at and go Open. Uh, we need to open that into an um, isometric assembly file and that does the conversion and puts all the parts in here for us um, automatically. Um, there's an icon on here that shows that each of these is um, actually grounded which um, isn't going to allow us to do too much with the um, model. So what we need to do is um, pick on a part and go to our assembly relationship assistant and we'll just take um, that and um, select all the other parts in here. Um, and when I right mouse click and go um, look at which relationships we want to apply. We just want to look at mate and uh, align, axial align in this case. Um, so that gives me a um, sort of description of, of all, all the different relationships it's found. Um, there are some that we want to sort of get rid of which are going to stop us doing some um, motion. So um, I know that it's just sort of mo mostly um, the first four that we want to go with um, in most cases. So um, if we just drop these ones out, so when we finish doing that, we can just accept and then finish our process. So now if we look at um, any one of these, we'll see that um, they have um, the mate and aligned relationships on them. So the next step is to um, just uh, add an extra one in here. Um, we just want to um, put a um, mate relationship between this face and the um, front reference plane. Let's just uh, flip that one back and make it a floating offset. So um, that just gives us some orientation. Now, um, what I want to do is I actually want to drive this around a curve. So if I go in and create a sketch, and um, basically what I want to do is um, just include some of this, in ge this geometry so that I can um, just uh, work with it. And I'll create another one over here. So. Um, Basically what I'll do is I'll just create a, um, just connect to there. Switch to arc mode and um, give it a curve about which we want to follow. We should be able to pick up off the geometry there and close that off. So that's going to act as our um, control curve for the um, motion on this um, particular assembly. So if we start with um, say this one for example, um, we can go in and uh, sort of colour it up. So we can make this one blue and then we go into our um, relationship options and we want to add that to a path so um, if we pick up off that end point on there and connect it to the arc and accept that. So now we have this extra relationship on. So um, we just need to sort of uh, drop around um, and um, create these extra relationships just to give us some sort of um, control over the model. So um, I shall just uh, carry on here. So once we've got all those path relationships um, assigned, what we can do is we can just see how that motion works. So if we um, go and um, click on the drag component command, uh, we've got it on freeform move, we could have it on linear or um, rotate. So um, I just pick on the part that I'm interested in and you can see that we can actually just drag this around that path that we've defined and um, all, all, of, all of it um, just follows suit. 
So um, what else can we do? Um, if we just zoom in on here, um, we may decide that these um, uh, holes are not quite uh, a, a little bit too big. So um, if we choose our select command, um, sorry, just uh, come out of there for a minute, and we can go um, either part priority, which will allow us to pick the parts individually, or we can go face priority, and um, this allows us to um, pick faces from the assembly of the parts. So if I just hover over here, um, I can grab this cylinder, uh, hit the space bar, allows me to add other um, uh, options in here, and um, obviously we want to do this one at the back here as well. So once we've um, picked all the things, we can see that they're all 20 diameter. And um, we just want to drop that down to, say, 17. And um, basically what's going to happen is that um, they'll all change. But um, in saying that, you'll notice that um, the ones the other side have changed as well. So um, we can um, work with um, these tools quite nicely. Um, if we wanted to, we could... Um, Go back to our part mode, and um, if we pick on a part, we can just go in, and um, if we want to, we can open it directly. Um, so, um, what can we do in here? Um, you know, this is a um, an imported model. Uh, we've seen that we can actually adjust the um, size of those bosses. Um, here, you can see that it's uh, size 17. You may decide that um, if you're looking at um, these slots, you may want to move them in closer. Um, ideally, if you're going to do something, what you want to do is make it symmetric. Um, so what we can do is we can just pick up off everything and um, move it around. So if we make sure that our key points are set to all, I should be able to just grab on the center of this and... Um, get on the midpoint and what this is going to allow me to do is um, just bring this model down and um, move it over the top of that um, coordinate system so now now that we have some sort of um, inbuilt geometry um, uh, recognition uh, we can just sort of work with that so if, if I come in here and say let's think about moving this slot in here um, I just want to move it across um, say a couple of mil we've decided that maybe it's too too close to that edge there um, we can just move that in type in the size and um, change that around um, likewise if we did this from the assembly we could modify the um, other part files as well at the same time we could decide that we wanted to um, make these a little bit thicker so um, let me pick on it and pick on your arrow. You can see that we've got um, the ability to uh, modify not only the face but the um, boss as well. If we don't want coplanar, um, we can turn that off and that won't modify the boss. But we've still got the symmetry, so both sides are being modified. If we don't want sy symmetry, um, we can hit the S key um, and turn that off. So um, you can see that we have the capabilities of modifying that directly. And obviously you can see which relationships we're actually working with over here. So these aren't actually built into the model. Um, this is just working directly from the um, geometry. And Solid Edge is able to pick up all of those um, features directly. So you can see that it's a very powerful system um, to use.